plus another Sally object's number value. So basically, we're going to have two Sally objects already. We're going to have a Sally object that, say, has a number of 20, and another Sally object that has a number of 30. And whenever we create the brand new number, it's going to have a value of 50. So that's where we're going to be returning the brand new Sally object. So in order to do that, all you do is this return brand new just like that and what this is going to do is return the brand new Sally object so basically we're going to be calling this on a Sally object that already exists and what it's going to do is this line is going to create a brand new Sally object right here we give a number value to the brand new Sally object and right here we're just returning that brand new Sally object simple enough so let's go ahead and well I guess now we can hop over to main and I can actually you know show you guys what's going on so the first thing we need is two already existing Sally objects with the number property that we can add together so Sally well, we'll call this object A and we'll give it a value of like 34 now we need another one Sally B and we'll give this value uh, 21 now we need a blank one because whenever we call this value remember it doesn't have a number property yet so that's what we're going to be giving it so let's go ahead and create a blank Sally object with a C and now all we need to do is this you might be thinking alright whenever I wanted to before like um give a number property to the C value I would do something like C equals a dot add and then you would add B to that and I mean what that would do is whenever you wanted to add a number property to C it would take A and add B get some integer and add it to the property of C right there well with this overloaded operator you don't have to do that anymore here's what you need to do C equals A plus B and that way whenever we use the plus sign C++ already knows that we have a special meaning for it right here so whenever it sees the plus sign called on one of these objects it's gonna know to run this function right here so let's go ahead and uh, run this and now that we use that plus sign the C object has a num property so let's go ahead and see out um, C dot num and then let's go ahead and end that line and let me go ahead and run this real quick and I'll show you guys that it says 55 so what it did is basically this it took this number value 34 added this number value 21 it gave us 55 and through the use of our overloaded operator that's where we got the Sally num so let me talk you guys through one last time what's going on maybe this will clear things up for you in our very first line of code we created a Sally object and the num had a value of 34 so we know whenever we created a Sally object and we passed in an integer then it assigned that integer to the property of num so we have a Sally object and A Sally object is num 34. B Sally object is num 21. And then we created a C Sally object and remember whenever we created a Sally object that we didn't pass in a parameter it just created a blank Sally object right here. So we said alright with our blank Sally object we want to use A plus B. So it said alright I know this plus since you're trying to do something weird I know that you're trying to use this overloaded operator so it said alright C equals A plus B that means you're trying to use C the Sally object with this function right now so what it did is it took the current object which was A right there and this B was treated as the parameter another Sally object so what it did was it took the current object's number which was 34 it added another Sally object's number which was 21 and it returned a brand new Sally object with 55 as its number so as its return value we set equal to C so C now equals a brand new Sally object with 55 as its number so that way whenever we print it out our brand new Sally object with its new number that's why it printed out 55 on the screen right there so again like I said operator overloading is a little weird because it basically 
takes your plus sign and you know you don't have to use a function name anymore so instead of this it pretty much changes that all into a plus sign so I know it's kind of a weird syntax at first and to be honest I don't use it a whole lot in my programming so if that gives you confidence that you're probably not going to be seeing this a whole lot then uh, you know you can relax but I just want to give you guys the idea of what operating uh, operator overloading is because you know whenever you're at a job and people are talking about it you don't get lost or whatever so that's what it is but you won't be seeing it all too much in uh, my programs so now that you guys understand the concept of it um, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and you're probably gonna have to rewatch this video a couple times and do some examples of your own and if you have any questions don't forget to check out my forum the newboston.com slash forum and uh, hopefully I can answer it for you so anyways one last time, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.